guest, my guest is rock and roll royalty, Terry Reed. Yes, it's true. New season, new theme song. Here we go. I talk to you, hey, hey, be on my team, or else you'll give me low self-esteem. Be free to show. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Not, when we come back, we'll have a very short monologue because we're going to get right to it with my man, Terry Reed. Yeah. Come on back. Come on back. By the way, this is going to be short because I want to hurry and get to Terry Reid. So this is a short monologue yeah. this week. But uh, 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 news coming out of Russia. Uh, Putin really angry at America again because he just found out that in American English, Putin means to shit yourself. <laughs> so he's, he's kind of pissed. He's kind of pissed about that. Uh, uh, and uh, true, true story coming out of uh, Tennessee today that uh, a man was shot by his dog with a rifle. Uh, it's a true story, not, not making it out. True story, a man was shot by his dog because he had his rifle loaded and in the back seat and the dog just shot him and killed him. Yes, shot and killed. We should, terrible. So you see that just goes to show you that you don't tell your dog they're getting spayed or neutered when you got a loaded <laughs> rifle in the back seat. They've grown wise, you know. You think they're licking you because they like you? They're licking you to see how you taste. <laughs> that's it for the monologue. That's, uh, that's actually, that's it. When we come back, we'll be back with Terry Reed. Come on back. Welcome to the couch, Terry Reed. Yes. Wow. Terry Reed, I want to first say. Thank you for coming to do the show. Yeah, man. You yeah. know, We've I was contemplating when I was calling. I was like, I don't know if you'll have time. <laughs> oh, or no, 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 no. You've been, you've been, uh, 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 what is it, off the, uh, on the continent? Is that how they put it? On the continent when you're in uh, England? Oh, when you're, you know, well, you call it all sorts. It all depends where you go. <laughs> you uh, know, not in the Mediterranean, you mean, right? You know, oh, what do you mean? Or being in England? No, just being in England. I thought that that I was all over the Europe, place. You're on the continent, is what I thought. Yeah, well, I live here, obviously. Oh, you yeah. know, right? But no, this last summer was a was a <laughs> it was a real shocker. But uh, I went over to England, and uh, and I 
I did a whole uh, cruise with Joe Bonamassa. Yeah, yeah, um, I saw yeah. that you were doing. Nice. And uh, which was okay. But uh, I'm not just trying to be funny. But uh, the thing was is that when I went on it, Joe said to me, oh, you'd, be, you'd love being on the cruise. Come to the Mediterranean, get on a big boat, play music, and I'll pay you. Right? Well, you know, I mean, what kind of guy are you? You know, right? I mean, really. I mean, I said, yeah, there you go. He's only I getting said, one of those things here. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's good. Yeah, exactly, really. And it was, yeah, it was good money. So I said, okay, but he didn't tell me what to do. Ah. Ah. So it, I know, I know Joe real well and I know how he plays, yeah. but I didn't figure that when we got on the boat, there was going to be 12 other people doing what Joe does. Wow. Well, mm. <laughs> then you're, you're supposed to laugh at it. No. You know, right? so, see, what happens was that you, 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 the thesis of the thing is, is that you, oh, everybody plays, I call it like metal blues, you know. It's a metal blues. Co- it's like metal blues, right. man. Right. See, you know, so, Anyway, so we got here, thing. folks. It's a copyrighted by the BD Freeman Show and all BD Freeman Show production. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I go on there and I start doing Terry Reid songs, like you're talking about, which is not exactly what everybody was <laughs> looking for. Which is fine. We went down great, had a great sure. time. But the yeah, next, because you make great music, incredible music. Yeah, but the next one I'm going to do with Mick Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, no, yes. the thing is, it's like if we're going to have some blues players on there. Yeah, exactly. Let's, oh, my let's God, get... the audience is like very, very pushy tonight. Right. Hey, I know how to sell a good act, you know. No. Me and Mick, me and Mick uh, have played together for years, as you know. We've yeah. played together for years. And the thing is of playing with Mick is it will not only be very, very rewarding musically, yes. it will be a right laugh. Because yes. yeah. Mick, yeah. Mick is one of the funniest people I think I've ever met, and you never know what's going to happen. It's right. one of the. Uh, you know, I've been and about him on a boat, I can't imagine. You know. <laughs> you know I've, I've I mean, thinking... we'll, we'll probably have to make sure he's still on the boat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> be looking for him. I've you been know. looking to go on uh, some kind of rock and roll cruise. For yeah, a while, man. there you go. Tell me when it is. And I'll... Well, there's two of them. There's a Caribbean one, which okay. is very nice. You know, I mean, I think that goes out really soon. And then uh, the uh, the other one, which goes Greece, Italy, Turkey. Oh. And all. Isn't that terrible? Nice. Terry, do you want to go on a cruise? Huh? Awesome. Well, I'll go on one of them. Yeah. Well, the, the Mediterranean one's great. Turkey was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it was, it was very. This Thanksgiving was very turkey sore. was fantastic too yeah. for me. Yeah, uh, it was like turkey. delicious. Oh, my family don't. Like I didn't it. really have turkey. <laughs> I had chicken. Look at that. No, sorry, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> absolutely terrible. Those are jokes, folks. Those are jokes. Okay, now as much as I want to talk about uh, Jagger with you, who I love, love the Stones. I want to talk about you with you. So, me with me with him, right? Uh, so, I, I'm, I've always been interested in how did it start. I know that, and when I'm saying how did it start, I'm not that? talking about you, you picking up the guitar, creating songs. I'm not asking you what, what was the first song what, you wrote. Or what's the question? Yeah. It, the, the question is like <laughs> what, like, how did it begin that you had the yearning to sing and to play? Did somebody oh, put a guitar right. in your hand? Did you go no, buy one? What no, happened? No, no, this, this, I mean, God bless. This, uh, I mean, you have a big family. I'm an only child, but they yeah, have a big family. We all grew up together, of course. And then they have children, as we do. And then they have children. And the ironic thing is my father's... Okay, I'll get to where I got the guitar. Is that <laughs> my father's family all look alike. It, you know, when you get that thing going, I mean, they all, my dad looks like his, his father, and all the brothers, they were 10 brothers, right? Damn. So when I got. Poor mom. Now, when I you, mean, they're no. poor mom. <laughs> yeah, but, and they all come from a mining family, so it was all very hard work and everything. But when I go up there and we all stand, like we go and have a beer, and we'll stand at the bar, we take these pictures of us all. 
<laughs> lying down the bar, like head to head to head. And it gets, it gets to a point where you can't tell the difference between some of us. We're that much alike, right? But there's no musicians in the family. Wow. Right? I actually, like you said, I, how did I get involved in this? You know, I started checking out, even with the family, what do you play? And he says, well, I'm on the fiddle most of the time, you know, which is not exactly the thing. But, you know, <laughs> but uh, nobody plays Anytime music. Anytime I hear a fiddle, I get a little nervous. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a different kind of fiddle, this one. <laughs> this is like, you know. Right, no. <laughs> yeah. We're talking like, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, so nobody played music. And, and, and it just, I just was a sponge for music. That's how it happened when I was little, and anything comes on the radio, I sponged it, as wow. you might say. I, I don't know how, but uh, God will it. I mean, I, I just have it down. Any pop song that came on, and I have things that I love, and I have things that I hate. It's as simple as that. And I've always <laughs> been that way. I mean, I cannot sing a song what, that I don't like. I mean, what, just things, one what, what things do you hate? Uh, somebody... Uh, Oh, this is dangerous, you ask me that one. Certain, well, the, the, okay, I'll tell you, we, you know, you'll get somebody singing a song and they really, their heart is not in it. Mm. And you know the song, you've heard the song before, it might be Gershwin, mm. it might be Sam Cooke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> same thing, same yeah. thing, right? But you get, some, you get somebody who figures because they're really famous can sing these songs and, oh, yeah. and it don't work. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't know, that sort of irks me. No, that, I've, 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 I won't I've, mention names. I feel the same. Well. And I won't mention and names. And don't either. say anything. I, will, I, I won't say any names either, but I absolutely get what you mean. You know what I mean? I've, right. listened, I've watched people, uh, their stand up specials, and watched it just. Tank and yeah, stuff and the arrangement because they just they're not into it. They're not into it, and the arrangement falls apart. It does. It's not like Sinatra or or Nat King Cole. That now we're talking about now, yeah. right? Is that whereas the arrangement is wrapped around the start, the vocal and the style that yeah. is being performed, right? Which is easy to say, but that takes years to really refine and be honest and flow with, you know. So. Yeah. When I was little, I obviously didn't have that kind of sort of mentality, you know. I was only five, right? So I would. Uh, oh, but five. I love. You were already playing like Hendrix. Uh, you were? Yeah. Uh, you were playing that like was Hendrix. Six. I was five. six then, yeah, right. I was yeah, six, when you so, turned yeah. six, you were playing like Hendrix. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I don't play like Hendrix. So. No, he's you scary. Still had it. No. At five years old, you still had it. Well, no, it's not that. Humbly, it's. it's you you know if people like what you do, if you know singing or whatever you do, and when people really respond to something, it's like, what was why? What was that? And you don't know yourself until a few years later. It just, it, and then it feels exactly the same thing with comedy. Like yeah, it's the same. Thing. It's great if you get and a on response. On the way to the punchline, I get this huge laugh. I'm like, wow, what was that? Yeah, I, I don't remember. I gotta go back through it. <laughs> I always record myself so I can go back right. through it. Exactly. And watch and see what I did. Right. Yeah, and that's how I so I would it I would stand on a box and sing. In in uh, my mother used to go fruit picking and things like that. You know, it's, it's her job. Man. I got a cousin that does that. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So I they get me up on the box at eight o'clock in the morning singing all the regular songs with the radio. Right. Mm. That was the beginning of my career, like at, at five. Right? And then. Get, what happens is I get to join in the rock and roll bands we all did. Everybody loved the Beatles, loved the Stones and all this. And this thing, years go really quick. I mean, too quick. But uh, I, get, I get to this point where I'm 14 and 15 in a band and this, and we're, we're supporting well-known famous groups and they get better and better. And I'm, there's, now I'm starting to earn a little money. This is getting very good, right? So. <laughs> But I, it's, with me, it was always the interest in the music. I'm a muso, whether I like it or not, you know. So, and then all of a sudden, one day, I'll cut, the story's cut a lot shorter, but, <laughs> is that I, <laughs> hard to, I, we're playing a club called the Marquee Club in London, right, which is renowned, you know, uh, John Mayer, and I, I've been there, seen all my heroes and everything. So, we're playing this club, and unbeknownst to me, 
uh, Mick Jagger and, uh, and Keith Richards are in the audience, right? Mm. I didn't know. I'm glad I didn't, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I would have might have put a different spin on it. And there was a guy we call Uncle Stu, right? You know, huh. Stu, I miss him dearly. He was play piano with the Stones. He was the roadie, but <laughs> he played piano, great. And Stu comes back right to the stage and goes, hello, Terry. And I went, oh, Stu, you go, what are you doing? And he goes, well, I've been talking to the boys and uh, they want you to go on tour with them. And I said, the boys? He said, well, what about the start? I said, are you serious? And he goes, yeah. I said, he said, do you want to do it? Now, at that point, you don't really talk about the money. This is like a big step, a oh, yeah. giant leap for mankind, as you might say, you know. It's like, are they, are they nuts? What the hell's going on, right? So I got, basically, the story is I got elected. And for whatever reason, it all started way back before when I was little, is that the Musos got a real job, right? So I said to Stu, I said, well, great. When do we, when's this happening? This is great. He says, well, we're doing the Albert Hall tomorrow. Just leave the gear here and, and meet me at the Albert Hall tomorrow. I said, wait a second. Is this, is this how you guys do things? He said, yeah, well, usually it was yesterday, but, you know, we'll do it tomorrow. I said, you've got to be out of your mind. So next, the next night, I find myself on, on this unbelievable, for those who've been to the Albert Hall, it's a copy of the Vienna Opera House in Vienna, right? It, is, it doesn't sound as good as that, but it's beautifully ornate that Queen Victoria built, right? And I'm there. I'm on the stage. This is not, this is not going on. But it's not only the Rolling Stones. There's Ike and Tina Turner Review. Oh, my God. Now, you've got to understand. Terry is a big R&B. That Otis Redding, <laughs> Tina Turner. You t you, that's it. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see, now it gets better. I'm on the bus with them. Oh, <laughs> I get to sit next to Tina. Come on, honey, sit next to me. So, why do you like all this thing? Why do you like doing it? You're, you're too young to be doing it. She starts giving me all this stuff. Right? <laughs> we become, yeah, obviously become, she took me under wing. And, and God, I'm blessed, you know, I'm blessed. Yeah, she was so kind to me. Yeah. And also on the tour, right, that was one band. But that's a review. It was Jimmy Thomas, uh, Junior, and it was, it was a whole bunch. I still remember all these people. But that was one entourage. That's a whole thing, which is that, that on its own was too much for me. And then before the Stones went on, there's a group called the Yardbirds, who yeah. I, I knew of, Keith Ralph, and I knew all these guys, and Jim Yardbird, <laughs> Jim McCarthy. I can't read you. And so I knew all these guys. And they got, got to a point where they had all these different gu guitar players, Eric Clapton, for about five, 30 seconds. I think he was, was it 30 or 40 seconds? I don't know. <laughs> well, he started calling Eric God, so he said, that's enough of that. He's out of there. Right? So I, you know, all these different guitar players, now they got to a thing with the Stones tour, they're on it. So there's Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page on the side of the stage. So it's like war. Right. <laughs> you know, the stones the stones had amps this big, fifty watts for those who know, right? Yeah. You know, the others, they had beetle amps like this. <laughs> it was so friggin' loud, excuse me, right? It was you couldn't hear Keith Ralph singing, poor guy. I mean I felt sorry for it. But it was that was the start of a whole new thing, you see. So you got Icantina, which is royalty to me. Oh, and yeah. uh, and oh, yeah. getting on the bus, and of course everybody sings on the bus. I mean, really sings. Yeah. Like you said, when you you know you know when somebody can really do yeah, right, when do it right. When they're you putting know. it down. And Tina sings. She's so loud. You cannot believe how loud this girl sings. <laughs> and I'm sitting next to her, like, oh, give me more. <laughs> yeah. No, give me. Don't stop. You know. So that's uh, I got elected, and from there on, God bless. It, 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 a road started on the road. You know, I got to go places and see people, and uh, right. and it, be, it all became really a lot of fun. You know, yeah. and at the same time, you you d develop the thing you're doing, and you make serious decisions of what songs you like or write, 
I started writing when I was like 30 to 14. I didn't realize that's what it was. I thought there was a hole in the ceiling and it just all fell through. <laughs> no, really, that's how I think of it. Yeah. You know, I don't really think that it was me that did all this. I mean, some of it sounds it pretty you. good. Sounds really good, you know. All of it sounds really good. You know, good. I don't know. You know, I mean, maybe there's something We're, else involved. I don't want to break. Well, we, we have to take yeah. a quick break, yeah. pay some bills. We'll uh, be <laughs> yeah. right back with the B.D. Freeman Show and Terry Reed. Yeah. Come on back. to the Biddy Freeman Show. Now, uh, today we're doing some trivia. Two audience members, two lucky audience members are going to walk out of here $100 richer. Now, uh, the first trivia question will not be done by moi, but will be done by the king himself. Gary Reed. Okay. Right. It's an interesting one. It's, a, it's very personal, actually. There's a very good friend of mine, David Lindley. Incredible musician, one of the best musicians I've ever met in my life. And the trivia question is, who is David Lindley's auntie? Oh my God. Wow. Hey, we don't give a uh, hundred bucks away easily hey, on this yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, his mother, it's his mother's sister, put it that way. You will when you hear it. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's, it's, I, mean, I couldn't believe it when I, I went. I think I just read that not long ago. Ah, so it's close. something you sh that really should be. I, it totally no, sort of nobody blew me gets away. to Google anything. <laughs> <laughs> you could, can I, can I call somebody at home? Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> it's not cash, cash cab, right. <laughs> I was reading about it because I was reading about the uh -huh. It's really interesting. It slipped out one day when we were on the road. We worked together for like four or five years or something, right? When you and say it, I'm going to know because well, you know. Oh, you'll definitely know who left, it is. Elizabeth. <laughs> huh? Nine, eight, Elizabeth. seven. Queen, Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> David Lindley. God, no. Five, <laughs> Jesse, four, look, it, there's one guy who'll never get in three, the palace. Three, you know. Two, one. And nobody got that. I thought for sure you would have that, Harrison, with your knowledge. music knowledge. I thought for sure. Well, it's not. not well, it's you can tell, tell them nobody's won $100 yet. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm sorry. I should have made it easier. It's no fun when you do something like that. But. Yeah. Well, no. His auntie, his mother's sister, is Loretta Young. Wow. The actress? Ha! Obvious. Now you know who she is. So. I knew that yes. all the time. Wow. I knew that the whole time. <laughs> yeah. You of course guys you did. of course didn't you. know. Yeah, it's easy. And the funny thing was, is that, well, not funny, but the amazing thing was, is that they, uh, Roz, uh, Roseanne, his daughter, when she was born, we were in England, and, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, we got together and the baby was born. When we looked at she got those big eyes, just like Loretta Young, right? Uh -huh. I was just freaked out, you know. I, I, I went, I can't believe it, you know. It's so cool. But well, I'd like to, I'd like to add in there. But David's been not well lately, so I'd uh, like to, I'd like to send my blessings to all him because right. he, That's he's awesome. a wonderful guy. Blessings to yeah. David, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So reach out, you know. Yes. Okay, blessings to David. Next question? I uh, know yeah. the next one. Don't try to run this show, audience. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's jumping yeah. in like, I should be producing this thing. No. Yeah. It's already happening. We already have a producer. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the audience is uh, whew, there. Yeah, well, they know half of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, are, uh, they are fierce tonight. Yes. Man. Yes. Uh, very demanding indeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, no one's got the hundred dollars yet, but we'll be asking more questions. Uh, I, I have to ask: uh, uh, my audience here and at home will die if I don't ask this. Uh, uh, will you play us something, anything from yeah. your catalog? Sure. Yeah. I love to. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
Boy, I, I mean, I brought about five guitars. You know, with me, I never know where to start or finish. With <laughs> it. I could sit like this. We're okay. good. Okay. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry Reed. <laughs> now, this is a, it's a song, I won't go too much on it, but it's based upon all songs. I, I looked at all the things I liked, all different kinds of songs. And it's what we call ice cream chat. Ice cream changes, sorry. <laughs> it's like, it's those three chord changes which probably most songs that, you, that you've heard from Beatles to Sam Cooke to whatever are built upon, mm -hmm. right? But to find one of your own within those is, <laughs> it's not as easy as one thinks, right? But I, I got one, I got one. <laughs> yeah. Right, and, uh, and uh, the refrain of it, you haven't heard it yet, right? <laughs> oh. Just the thought of word that you said But when your eyes keep on turning Just to stand next to that sweet warm thing of yours again <laughs> I asked all my friends everything about you. <laughs> what it was and how it felt with you instead. Now, if only I could just come out and ask you. Maybe this could put my lonely heart and mind at ease instead. Take it to bridge. Here I stand, alone and alone. Cause I felt so hard for you. Way down deep in my heart, I know this love so real and so true. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm so shy about you. Couldn't be a thought or word that you said now. So why do I just keep on turning? Just to stand next to that sweet walk that you again now. Tell me why. Could you know that 
Still, I don't know why. Woo, Terry Reed! We'll be right back. We'll be right. Back. You're in the <laughs> audience members jumping into the shot. They love Terry Reed so much. Terry Reed, everybody. We got to take a break. We'll be right back with more trivia questions and more music and more Terry Reed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 